Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be diving into the topic of the highest paid CEOs in the world. The individuals we'll be discussing are responsible for running some of the largest and most successful companies on the planet, and their paychecks reflect the immense responsibilities that come with their roles. From tech giants to media conglomerates, we'll take a look at the top 7 highest paid CEOs in the world. At the top of our list is none other than Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla. In 2021, Musk earned a staggering $595.3 million, making him the highest paid CEO in the world. This was largely due to a performance-based compensation plan that was put in place in 2018. Musk receives no salary or bonuses, but is awarded stock options based on Tesla's market capitalization and operational milestones. With Tesla's soaring stock price and increased market share, Musk's compensation has skyrocketed in recent years. Musk is known for his unconventional approach to business, which has helped him transform Tesla from a niche electric car maker into a mainstream player in the automotive industry. He's also the founder of SpaceX and Neuralink, and he recently bought Twitter for over $40 billion. There's no denying that he's one of the most innovative and influential CEOs of our time. The second place is Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple. Cook earned $265 million in 2021, primarily from a performance-based stock award. Under Cook's leadership, Apple has continued to dominate the tech industry and has seen impressive growth in its services and wearable segments. Cook joined Apple in 1998 and worked closely with Steve Jobs for many years before taking over as CEO in 2011. Since then, he's overseen the launch of numerous products and initiatives, including the Apple Watch and the company's push into the healthcare space. He's also been a vocal advocate for privacy and environmental sustainability, which have become core values of the company under his leadership. Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Alphabet, Google's parent company, comes third on our list with a total compensation of $281 million in 2021. Pichai was promoted to CEO of Alphabet in 2019, taking over from Google co-founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin. Under Pichai's leadership, Alphabet has continued to grow its advertising revenue and expand into new markets like cloud computing and artificial intelligence. Piché joined Google in 2004 and worked his way up through the company, leading the development of products like Chrome and Google Drive. He's also been instrumental at expanding Google's presence in India, where he grew up. In addition to his role at Alphabet, Piché serves on the board of directors for Alphabet's subsidiary Magic Leap and is a member of the board of trustees for his alma mater, the Indian Institute of Technology, Karakpur. Joseph Yaniello, the former CEO of CBS, takes the fourth spot on our list with a total compensation of $125.4 million in 2021. Yaniello was the interim CEO of CBS in 2018, following the departure of Leslie Moonves. Yaniello joined CBS in 1997 and held various executive positions within the company before becoming CEO. During his tenure, he oversaw the launch of Paramount Plus, the company's streaming service, and played a key role in negotiations with major cable and satellite providers. Yaniello's compensation in 2021 was primarily due to severance payments and stock awards related to the CBS Viacom merger. Shantanu Narayan, the CEO of Adobe, comes in fifth on our list with a total compensation of $48.2 million in 2021. Narayan has been with Adobe since 1998 and has served as CEO since 2007. Under his leadership, Adobe has shifted its focus to a subscription-based model for its creative software, resulting in steady revenue growth in recent years. Narayan is an Indian-American businessman. He was born in Hyderabad, India. Prior to joining Adobe, he worked at Apple and Silicon Graphics. He's also a member of the board of directors for Pfizer and serves on the advisory council for Stanford Graduate School of Business. Lisa Su, the CEO of Advanced Micro Devices, AMD, takes the sixth spot on our list with a total compensation of $43.9 million in 2021. Su has been with AMD since 2012 and was named CEO in 2014. Under her leadership, AMD has made significant gains in the CPU and GPU markets, taking market share away from Intel and Nvidia. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.